Hello everyone, welcome back to the pitch preview. So we are in the second half of the Premier League season and the transfer window is open. So normally the big six team will be very active or they will be active during this period to strengthen their team because traditionally they are the teams who will be fighting for the Champions League spot and also the teams that are most likely challenged for the title. So squad depth is very important for this period of time because there are a lot of injuries. Extra time no longer the same as it used to be. So right now, especially this season, we are seeing like 10 minutes of extra time, 12 minutes of extra time, and we are no longer playing 90 minutes football. Most often or not, it reaches out to 100 minutes and 110 minutes. So a lot of injuries or an increase of injuries for this season as compared to the seasons before. So if we talk about the traditional big six teams, let's start with Manchester United. So Man United, they are out of the League Cup and they are also out of the Champions League. So by focusing on the Premier League and also the FA Cup, which means that they are only playing once a week, which is reasonable for their existing squad. I'm pretty sure they will be very, they will go very heavily on the FA Cup because that is on that is the only cup that they can try to win. Because in the league form right now, they are at the mid table position. So I'm not too sure whether January this January now is the best time for Manchester United to make any signing. I do know that they need an experienced striker because their existing striker is he's, he's a teenager, a highly rated teenager, but he do need some time to adapt into Premier League and need some time or some experience to play in the Premier League. So I do know that they are looking for a striker, but I'm not sure whether do they have the budget or the 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 budget to sign a reputable uh striker because it will cost them a lot of money if they want to sign a proven goal scorer. And also given that the recent uh investment from the gym. So I think he will he will want to take a look at the existing team, the existing squad, and also the existing wage structure before making any move. So I will predict that Man United will make some loan signings, but I'm not too sure whether those signings will help them to climb up the big table. As for Tottenham, I do see them to challenge for the top 4 position or in fact the top 3 position because I think recently their form has improved a lot but January is going to be a tricky month for Tottenham because they'll be playing without 3 main players. I think Sa is out for international duty and Bisoma is out as well and Song Hyun Min so they are out for Asian Cup and also FCON so January will be a, a tough period for Tottenham but then again across the big six teams I think they are the most active in the current transfer window they have already signed Timo Werner a proven goal scorer but not in the Premier League but he has the experience to be a proper number 9. And also they are looking for a defender as well. If I'm not mistaken, is Draguzin from Genoa. So we are at the early stage of the transfer window and they have already made some active moves. So it's a good sign that they will strengthen the team 
and they, they are bringing in some quality signings as well. So I do see that Tottenham will improve once their players are back from international duties and also from the injury list. Not to forget that Madison is coming back soon as well. So that will help Tottenham uh, as well. Yeah. So in terms of Arsenal, they spent heavily during the summer. They signed a player that cost over $100 million, which is Declan Rice. And I doubt they, they will sign any player in the transfer window, in the general transfer window. Because Arsenal do have a very strong squad. And any players that comes in, in the January transfer window, it needs to be better than what they have right now, which is quite difficult. And even if they do able to sign someone who is better than their existing squad, it will cost Arsenal big money. Yep. So I doubt they will sign anyone. Same goes to Man, Man City as well. I don't think Man City will be signing any big name signings. Most likely, if they want to do some transfer business, it will be signing some young players or some young prodigy. That is what Man City has been doing for the past few seasons. Usually, Man City will focus more on signings in the summer transfer window. Chelsea-wise, they are desperate for a proven goal scorer. But January is not the, the time to sign this type of player. And given that European football is kind of out of their reach right now, I think they will take their time to sign the players that they want during the summer. So I doubt that they will sign any players, maybe some loan moves to strengthen the team with some experience. So rumors mentioned that they are looking for Jordan Henderson. So it so he might be able to provide some leadership quality to the existing team. Because Chelsea existing squad, they are relatively young. And then lastly, Liverpool. So Liverpool as we know, they are having a defensive crisis. Simikas is out. Robertson is out. Matip is out. And then Trent recently picked up an injury as well. So they do need to sign a proper defender. So I do hope that they will sign one because they badly need some defensive reinforcement. And I think... Uh, Usually Liverpool will sign a quality one quality player during January transfer window. We have been seeing that consistently for the past few transfer windows. For example, the likes of Gekpo, he joined us during the previous January transfer. And then Van Dyke joined us during January as well. Same goes to I think Suarez. He joined us during January as well. So historically, we do sign quality players during January transfer window. So do let me know your opinion on the type of players that these clubs should be signing in the January transfer window. And are they capable to improve the existing team or help the existing team to fight for the European spot? And I'll speak again soon.